You ready? All right, let's hit it. <coughs> What's going on, everybody? So sitting here in front of me, I got a little toy that I've had for about a year and a half and uh, put some shells through it, shot some teal, some doves. That's about it, but it's a good all-around gun. Is the Winchester SX4 20 gauge. This thing is sweet, I tell you what. Hardly kicks at all. I mean, it's a great little dove gun, duck gun too, even a goose gun. I mean, you can do a turkey gun, whatever you want with it. I mean, the squirrel gun, pheasant gun, goose gun, deer gun, rabbit gun, turkey gun. Possibilities are endless. Slug gun, you get a slug barrel on it. You know, you just gotta do what you gotta do. What other critters can you get? It's uh, about all I can think of. This is one of my favorite shotguns. I've owned 12 gauges my whole life, and to tell you the truth, I don't think there's no need for them. Go buy a sweet little 20 gauge, they're light. They get on target quick. If you got 26, 26 inch barrel, they're a sweet gun, so we're gonna dive into this thing. I got in the box, I kept the box. Obviously, you can see this right here. I always keep the boxes to all my guns in case I ever wanna sell them again or anything like that. We're gonna open this uh, bad girl up and take a look at her here. Spinning around here. Comes in a sweet looking box. Open sesame. Oh, better get that foam out of the way there. Well, that's what it's gonna look like when you get it from the store, wherever you get it from. Obviously, it'll have plastic and everything on it. This thing is a sweet gun. I, I absolutely love it. We're gonna start pulling her out here and I'll show you what it's all about. All right, let's pull this bad girl out of here. Well, here she is. It's really easy to put together out of the box. I'm sure if you bought a shotgun before. You know what I mean. And then we're gonna get the guts going here. So you got this cool little thing right here. I'm gonna pop her on there. All right, we got that going. And then you got your spring here that you're gonna put on. Then you're gonna put that on there. I mean, they're somewhat not two expensive guns in this day and age. I mean, Winchester, it's a well-known brand. They've been around for a long, long time. And uh, so I think uh, you can get this gun brand new, I think right now for like 900 and something dollars, brand new. But for the price, it's a great gun. I mean, Winchester has been around for a long, long time. And uh, Winchester has been around for a long, long time. They're a really good, uh, Can we just redo it? Yeah. So you can buy this gun brand new for 900 and something dollars. That's really not that bad of a price for uh, what you're getting. I mean, Winchester, it's a reliable gun. It will shoot and shoot and shoot over and over again as long as you keep it clean. It's just a sweet little unit. I mean, I love this gun. It's a great dove gun. I dove hunted with this gun a lot. Shot some teal with it. It's a beaut to shoot. They're a really fun gun. And a lot of people think, you know, you gotta have a 12 gauge to knock down ducks and geese. You can knock them down with a 20 gauge. Some of the ammo they sell for these things are just crazy. All that heavy shot and stuff like that. The stuff you can do with a 20 gauge, there's no reason to have a 12 gauge. I go with a uh, 26 inch barrel. My whole life I went with a 28 inch barrel. I noticed as soon as I switched to the 26 inch barrel, I was following through better. I got on my target better. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Sorry about the kitty cat there, but uh, I was starting to shoot better. A lot more birds were starting to hit the dirt. You just get on your target quicker, I think, with a 26 inch barrel. A lot of people think you gotta have that longer barrel to reach out and touch stuff. That is not true at all. It might help you out a little bit, but I'd rather uh, knock down more birds and be more accurate. I mean, the thing swings beautifully. I mean, as soon as you put it up to your shoulder, I mean, you're right on the bead, fall on that bird, boom. You got Butterball for dinner. The sweetest swinging gun I've ever held in my life. It is a beaut. I definitely recommend if you're gonna get a 20 gauge, SX4 because it's sweet. I mean, this thing is light. I mean, it ain't nothing. Pheasant gun, would be a great pheasant gun. Up quick, boom, bird down. I mean, it'll definitely uh, fill your freezer for you. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely worth the money. I mean, if you live in a state where you have a slug season, you can always buy the barrel to put on here to shoot deer with with the slug. So it's definitely worth the money, that's for sure. It'd be a sweet deer gun with a slug gun. Oh yeah, you knock down some butter balls with this thing. The pattern on this thing too, with a, uh, I got a modified choke tube and I noticed during teal season when I shot a couple birds closer to the water, like I was knocking down teal 40 yards, no problem. They even made a 50 yard shot. I wouldn't recommend taking 50 yard shots that was on a cripple so i was just trying to put her out of her misery but uh but with the factory modified choke in i'm shooting tight groups i mean 
I can only imagine you went out and got a pattern master or some other fancy choke tube, what kind of patterns you can throw down range, especially with all this fancy uh, shells they sell in this day and age. I think later on this year, I'm gonna get some really heavy loads for this thing, some tongue skin or something like that, and I'm gonna get out and try swacking a couple geese with it. But there's no reason to get a 12 gauge in my mind. There really isn't. I mean, you can disagree with me, but, but uh, this is a three inch gun, it'll shoot two and three quarter also. Forget the 12 gauge, go with the 20, I'm telling you. 2-0, that's all you need, that's all you need. <laughs> I get still on, right? Go out and get yourself a Winchester SX4, and as always, happy trails.